and I had barely limbered up. <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. Rodolf, Ida, Igor. Only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. But what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural, they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks. I dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have easily. Leave this to me. Terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. <gasps> that was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? <laughs> you will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... <sighs> inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon Realm, Pictomancy. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in a ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It 
It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf, and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A... Uh, Gulul, someone. Jaja. Gulul Jaja. That's my father, Idan's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Toliyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And uh, what's more? It bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. So the letter is fraudulent, then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so... ...perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yolal. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. We're eating that. <laughs> <laughs> 